everyone, and welcome to the first in our series of Ask the Expert interviews on the Thermal Scientific Orbit of Explorers 120 mass spectrometer. My name is Maciej Bromirski, and I'm the Senior Product Manager for Hybrid Instruments. And today we are speaking with Olaf Scheibner, who is the team leader, sales support, on the subject of introducing the instrument, Orbit of Explorers 120. Hello, Olaf, and thank you for joining us today to talk about this subject. Hello everyone. So let's look into the new Orbitrip Explorers family. And so there are three systems called Thermoscientific Orbitrip Explorers. And we are starting with the 120, with the 240 model, and then there's the 480 model. Um, Specifically, we want to look into the Orbitrack Explorers 1 and a 20, and so let's look into the specs of that system. So this system has a mass range going from M over Z40 to 3000, and it has a quad isolation that starts at 0.4 Dalton in width, and it can isolate up to M over Z2000. The maximum scan rate of the system is 22 hertz, and as the name of the system already says, the maximum resolution is 120,000 at M over Z 200. Dynamic range inside one spectrum is better than 5,000 to one. Mass accuracy, as some of you may be used to it already from the QXRT series, um, that's the same here. 3 ppm mass accuracy, better than 3 ppm uh, without internal calibration. Uh, with the standard internal calibration, you're taking one background signal as a calibrant. Uh, you have 1 ppm mass accuracy, and if you use the newly introduced EZIC internal calibration, you have a mass accuracy better than 1 ppm over a course of at least 5 days. Polarity switching has become much faster on these systems, so in full scan we have at least 1.4 hertz on each polarity, which means that we have one full scan, switch over to negative mode, take one negative scan and switch back into positive mode as a full cycle, and then you have better, more than 1.4 hertz on each of the polarities. Fragmentation takes place in the HCD cell, so that's higher energy collisional decisionization cell, uh, which works the same way as uh, you may be used from triple chord instrumentation or other in, uh, instrumentation, uh, which gives you the full mass range of fragments, uh, which fits very well with the low mass range of uh, down to 40 m over Z that the instrument can scan now. For data dependent analysis, we can go up to top four. So four MS2 scans between one full scan. And the analyzer is the high field orbitrap. And one very important point for this is the size of the instrument. It has become significantly smaller than pre predecessor instruments. It's only 53 centimeters wide, while fitting on a normal lab bench with a depth of 76 centimeters and a height of 70 centimeters. So as you can see from the picture above, the system itself is even a bit smaller than the LC stack beside of it. And together with the LC stack, it's not bigger uh, than the old QX active that you may know has been. The layout of the system um, is a completely stretched one. So at the, at the beginning, um, there is the well-known heated capillary that you can exchange uh, without breaking the vacuum for easy maintenance of the system. Uh, then we have the s lens to focus the ions. And then we already come to one new feature of the system, and that is the internal calibrant source, EZIC, uh, that is placed here at the beginning of the ion path. Um, technically, it's, uh, it's an EI source that produces fluorenthine ions, uh, which works well for positive and negative mode the same way. So we are calibrating at the mass of 202. Um, and with this, we can control the flow of calibrant ions very nicely. So on the one hand, you get a nice unambiguous signal to detect for a recalibration of the spectrum. On the other hand, we will not flood um, the system with too many ions from the calibrant source, leaving enough space for good sensitivity on all the other components you would like to identify and possibly quantify. This is followed um, by uh, an S-shaped ion guide uh, that prevents neutrals from in entering the system because the neutrals just fly on uh, straight while the ions go on this S path and then enter the quadrupole. The quadrupole is uh, a segmented quadrupole for better isolation shape and uh, better transmission, uh, increasing the sensitivity of the system. And as already said, it isolates down to 0.4 Dalton uh, in isolation width. 
Um, behind the quadrupole, we have the new independent charge detector, which makes sure that the instrument always knows exactly how many ions are going into the C-trap in order to fill the C-trap with the optimum amount of ions in order to have best sensitivity without compromising mass accuracy or quantitative capabilities of the system, which might happen if the C-trap would be overfilled and the uh, independent charge detector makes sure that this never will happen. In the back of the system, you find the ion routing multipole, which captures the ions in the first place, but also does the fragmentation in terms of MS2 uh, spectra you want to um, acquire. So um, this is a very nice setup because the system always is an optimum shape, uh, either for full scan or for MS2 events, and we can switch between these events without any time loss uh, and have the full sensitivity on both modes. Uh, in contrast to beam type instruments where even full scan the ions need to pass the collision cell where you may lose sensitivity because of collision of ions that you don't want to have. Last not least, um, the analyzer is the high field orbit trap, um, the latest development um, of orbit traps um, that um, gives us a resolution of 120,000 uh, at M over Z200 and as already said, maximum scan rate 22 hertz on the system. The system comes with a new developed method editor, um, which makes it easy um, to set up methods, uh, not only because it's intuitive, graphically organized, uh, that you can find the ways quite easily, but with the method editor, we provide um, predefined experiments that you can use as a starting point to develop your own experiments without starting completely from scratch. These methods are based on publications that we've put out as application notes that you can refer to and find out what exactly the conditions are, and you will find this mirrored immediately in the instrument control software. And even if we uh, um, issue new applications, uh, you quickly will be able to download these as method templates because these method templates can be updated online whenever you want. And when we ever have new applications to serve to you, um, they will be available on the net and you can download them immediately without any hassle and without uh, any further contact that you need or time that you would lose in it. Due to the design of this software, a user of one system becomes a user of all our LCMS systems, uh, starting with the routine triple quad instruments, uh, going to the Explorer series instruments we are talking about right now, but not stopping there, but even going to the high end tribrid systems. So, a lab that should be equipped with high, <clears throat> high end research, but also in need of routine applications, would be able to switch easily between the high-end instruments and the routine instruments, uh, not only in terms of the user um, switching between the instruments, but also methods can be shared rather easily. So what you have developed on a um, high-resolution instrument easily can go to the routine on a unit-resolution instrument uh, because the method editor is the same and uh, methods are translated easily. Uh, so this is the lo lo lowest effort you can have in order to share methods across your uh, your laboratory. Uh, for maximum efficiency uh, of the work in your laboratory. And with that, I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Olaf. Uh, this was very interesting, insightful, and very helpful uh, introduction to the Orbit of Explorers 120. And I also like to thank the audience. And uh, uh, I'd like to point out that you can learn more about the latest capabilities of the Orbit of Explorers 120 mass spectrometer by visiting our website at thermofisher.com slash Orbit of Explorers 120. Goodbye and join us on our next, next series of Ask the Expert interviews. Thank you.